After she was selected to join the upcoming reunion for separated families, 84-year-old Paek Song Yun learned her brothers and sisters in North Korea had already passed away. She is not expecting an emotional meeting with distant relatives in North Korea that she does not know. As I have not met them before, I do not have a personal attachment, but I think that we are blood related. Paik is one of more than 57,000 South Koreans who registered to participate in the rarely held inter-Korean reunions for families that have been separated since the 1950s when the Korean War divided the nation. This year, less than 100 participants from both the North and South will meet in the North's Kumgan Mountain Resort. It has been three years since the last reunion as tensions over North Korean nuclear and missile tests have complicated joint cooperative efforts. Some of these remaining war survivors, like 90-year-old Kang Wa Ja, are frail and suffering from decreasing cognitive skills. Kang's daughter Kim Young Suk says they were reluctant to go after learning their direct relatives in the North have all died. As they are not her direct brother or sister, there will be an emotional gap. But after decades cut off from contact with their families in the isolated and impoverished North, these aging war survivors want to know how their loved ones lived and died. When we meet, we will talk about what happened in the past. It probably will be the first and last time. Rather than reestablishing family ties for many elderly participants, this year's inter-Korean reunion will be a chance to say goodbye. Brian Patton, VOA News, Seoul.